Now, KWWL Sports. Talking sports, former Iowa Hawkeye consensus All-American Keegan Murray just finished a solid second season with the NBA Sacramento Kings. Now Murray is on the radar of Team USA. Keegan Murray is headed to Las Vegas as a part of the 2024 USA Men's Select Team. The Select Team will train with the USA Men's National Team as it prepares for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Now, Keegan Murray was a 2023 All-Rookie First Team player, an all-time leader in three-pointers made by an NBA rookie. Keegan Murray will join a group of 15 players who will train with Team USA, the USA Men's National Team, from July 6th to July 8th. Keegan Murray will face off against NBA superstars LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and Jason Tatum as they make final preparations for the Paris Olympics. Now, Keegan Murray finished the second season in the NBA, 15 points, five and a half rebounds, nearly two assists, and one steal per game. Last night, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever lost their second straight game on their tough five-game road trip to the Seattle Storm 89-77. Caitlin Clark scored 15 points, dished out seven assists, and grabbed six rebounds in the defeat. Clark and the Fever dominated the Storm 44-27 on the glass, but Indiana also turned the ball over 20 times to just eight for Seattle. Head coach Chris Desai says turnovers decided the game. I think that was the game. You know, we, we ended up shooting 45%. Um, we won the last two quarters. You know, we, we beat them on the boards. We had 20, how many assists did we have? 21 assists on 29 baskets. I mean, the stats, I mean, you wouldn't think it, but it's the, it's the turnovers. It's the turnovers and those, those easy buckets that we're giving up. Um, but, like, we want to win more than anybody. Like, this is our job. Like, our job is to compete every single day, and A.B. would say the same thing. Like, nobody enjoys losing. Like, it's not fun to lose and have lost 12 games, and we're not even at the halfway point of our season yet. Like, we're trying to give it our all and, and be able to win every single night, and, you know, we expect to win, so, like, we're not going to be walking around the court, like, smiling when, when you're down. Clark and the Fever returned to action Sunday when they faced the Phoenix Mercury and Diana Taurasi for the first time this season. At the Rocket Mortgage Golf Tournament, Zach Johnson followed up his first round score of four under par 66 with another four under par. Zach shoots eight under par through the first two rounds to make the cut, and he will be spending the weekend in Detroit. He is five shots behind the leaders, but I'm quite sure he will be in Cedar Rapids for his annual Zach Johnson Foundation Classic at Elmcrest Country Club in Cedar Rapids on Monday. Now, having a great tournament, and you'll be there. I'll be the, there at the classic as well. Hope for a good turnout and good weather. If they too. let me in, <laughs> let you in, yeah. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Newscast okay. has got five seconds left here. Oh really? Oh, I'm going to take my time and <laughs> talk about the philosophy of weather. No, I guess not. See you back here tonight at ten. <laughs>
Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Well, it's going to be a beautiful weekend around here. Dew points will be dropping throughout the day on Saturday, very low on Sunday, even into Monday. But don't get used to that because look what happens as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. It gets a whole lot more muggy around here with dew points topping out in the upper 60s and low 70s. So, yes, yeah, some very comfortable conditions here Saturday, Sunday, and again on Monday. So after evening storms pass on by, we are looking at dry conditions throughout the entire day Saturday with lots of sunshine, and we'll have lots of sunshine again as we head into the day on Sunday. So again, some evening storms possible. Temperatures will be in the 60s. And then for Saturday, looking pretty good. We've got a uh, partly cloudy sky. High temperatures will top out in the 70s, north, 80s to the south. It will be a bit windy, though. At times, winds will be gusting to about 30 miles per hour. And then as we head into your city-by-city city forecast for Sunday and Monday, lots of sunshine on Sunday. High temperatures will be in the mid-70s. And then a late day storm possible on Monday. Temperatures once again in the 70s. A better chance of showers and thunderstorms will be here on Tuesday. Temperatures then will be back into the upper 80s and pretty muggy. Still into the 80s around here with a dry day on Wednesday. Some storm chances Thursday and Friday. Dry for the following weekend with temperatures in the 80s. On this Saturday morning, it is going to be pretty... No, let's, let's try this again. <clears throat> On this Saturday, not this Saturday morning. We've got a beautiful weekend ahead on this Saturday. Temperatures will top out in the upper 70s to low 80s. Humidity level will be dropping throughout the day. And uh, we'll look for a little bit of a gusty wind out of the northwest. Then for Sunday, sunny sky. The wind is light. Humidity level really low. I mean, ideal day. It's probably 10 out of 10. And then a late day storm, a possibility here on Monday. Otherwise, mainly dry throughout the day. High temperatures once again in the 70s. Now, your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. We have got a gorgeous weekend on tap. Little on the windy side here for the day today. Some of the wind gusts could be up around 30 miles per hour, but temperature wise, upper 70s, low 80s. We'll have a fair amount of sunshine. A beautiful day shaping up here tomorrow. Sunny sky, 70s expected for highs, and the wind will be light. I mean, this is going to be a fantastic day here on Sunday. Now, as we get into Monday, a late day storm is possible. Temperature is still in the 70s, but the wind starts to pick up. And eventually, that brings in uh, some gusty wind out of the northwesterly direction after a front passes by, but that front does include showers and thunderstorms as we get into the day on Monday. Also a lot warmer in the upper 80s. Dry on Wednesday. Some storms possible here on Thursday and Friday. We'll stay in the 80s. And as we look ahead to the following weekend, dry conditions with high temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Also a lot more muggy around here much of next week.